All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't held me down and paid my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go. Go. All right, Mr. Telefetto TV. All right, Ice JJ Fish had to get some hate off his heart. He had to get that hate out. Okay, okay, so for those who don't know who Ice JJ Fish is, okay, let's go backwards. I tell you what, take me back. One time I interviewed Ice JJ Fish. Give me a little bit of that interview. This might have been my worst interview I've ever shot in my life. I, I'm pretty sure it's the worst interview I've ever shot in my life. Take me back when I interviewed Ice JJ Fish. Let's go. You're like, just like Instagram posts. They use your picture and they use your face and they just will make a post rather than be about, I don't know, they, they went so far with it now. They got cameras to throw things and you know, what do you think about all that as a whole? Man, I laugh at it, man. It's entertainment. Yeah. So again, maybe the worst interview Telefero has ever shot. I've did probably about 100, 150 interviews at this point in my life. Maybe closing in on 200 interviews in my young career. I'm 23. I ain't trying to brag a gloat, but that's probably the worst of 200, 150, 200. Um, with that being said, Ice JJ might have a point, guys. So what he's upset about is the catch me outside. How about that? That chick that winning her mama who literally claimed the fame is that she argued and disrespected her mama on national television on the Dr. Phil show, and she got some clout from it. People started checking for her, and like a month ago, she came out with a record. Now she has a rap name. Her real name is like Danielle Borgali or something like that, and she has a rap name by the name of Bad Barbie. She came out with this record. These hoes? These hoes ain't in up. And I listened to the record over the weekend, and I'm doing a reaction to it. Well, I've already shot the reaction. I just gotta post it. Um, I ain't gonna lie. You say what you want about it. The song is not the worst thing I've ever heard. All right, it's bad. It ain't the, it's catchy though. In this era, trust me, I've heard worse. It's all trash. I'm just saying I've heard worse. And that record is now like number 71 on the Billboard charts. And Atlantic record, as I told you guys on the weekend, over the weekend, that she's now signed to Atlantic Records. They signed her to a multi-million dollar deal on the spot. Her record, again, shot up the charts, number 71, and climbing. And listen, after she got signed to a label, I can tell you it's going to shoot up higher in the charts again. And I told you guys on countless record uh, or over the weekend, I told you guys countless times. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys anymore. Like, I'll tell you straight up and down, do the right things. Don't diss people. Be about the great music. Be about the uh, conscious rap. Be about it. Be about something impactful. But I'd be lying to y'all if I say I'm not confused. In this era... The reality of the situation is there are a few conscious rappers who make it through, but they got to be stupid talented. But the, the most, the, the people who are getting through the, the most right now are the people that lack the ultimate talent. And they're talking about beefing and they're talking about stuff like what catch me outside. If you got that internet buzz, if you can find a way to be an Instagram celebrity right now. You can find a way in the rap. I'm not going to lie to you. And I can't tell somebody otherwise, and I'm not going to hate on her or anything, but the truth of the matter is, it's not about the music right now. It's about getting to know the person. And the reality of the situation is our country wants stupidity. We want ignorance. That's what's selling right now. And I don't know how to tell somebody to do otherwise when I just watched this chick who disrespected her mama on national television. Now she has a multi-million dollar record, uh, record deal with Atlantic Records. And I think somebody said I said Atlanta Records yesterday. It might have sounded like that the other day. I said Atlantic. She got a multi-million dollar deal with Atlantic Records. And, um... Man, that uh, Ice JJ Fish ain't for what Danielle Brogali has accomplished. He posted this on Twitter. He said, Cash Me Outside Girl got a record deal before me. And she don't even got a song with 60M views. Why y'all hate me, though? Like, what did I do? All right. And I'm going to be honest. Ice JJ got a point. As ugly as he is, he got a point. Hey, that brother was one of the first trash people 
in uh, musically in the social media era that popped off and he does have videos that have stupid numbers right if what's that record how i go it's something about the girl it's terrible i mean it's trash and that's not my real singing voice by the way y'all know tell the gets busy that ain't my real singing voice i was trying to sound like him right um i can't lie he has a point all i can say to ice jj is maybe he did it three years too early right maybe he was a couple years ahead of his time because now those youtube views go to album sales now and record sales so if he were to do that now if with the right also i don't believe he had the right team around him you got to have that music marketed and, and promoted and, and, and it's got to be licensed under the right places and registered the correct way so it can hit these charts and be eligible to get you know on these charts if he would have had the right team around him maybe he could be somebody that is blowing up the charts right now and it has a multi-million dollar label you could tell you can feel the hurt in his voice you can tell he feel like he uh blew a huge opportunity because he was lighting up the internet but i feel as if though the brother would tell you himself he wasn't monetizing that stuff the right way and it looked like he's missed his opportunity because now the internet people are flourishing right you could for an ad if you got a million followers you can command five figures a paycheck for somebody to promote something on your page if you got if you got a million followers on instagram and ice jj i feel like he was just a little bit before this era of everything going through social media and he might have missed his spot what y'all think ice jj got a a, a, a point and saying that he should have been signed before the catch me outside chicken how about that how about that talk to me in the comment box below subscribe to my channel for more content like this i'm not i want to salute you homie you know for for building your own thing and doing your own thing creating your own platform your own website i got one life to live out my dreams and i'm giving this thing all i got i interview celebrities i talk sports i represent the culture all right now you're turning up on mrtalaferro.com, shawty. Go!